I are Sigma, and this are my angry face. Grr. Welcome to Sigma Stage 1. Zero's gonna go in first, and uh, keep the main defense force busy. And we are supposed to slip in behind him. Sounds easy enough. Here at the beginning, you'll just encounter a bunch of turtles and those little purple dudes that tend to swoop in from unconventional angles and just piss you off. Rolling Shield is given another chance to shine right here. Go ahead and equip your barrier. You'll be invincible for the upcoming platform section. Normally this part is a bitch, because if you get hit, it's possible to fall all the way down there to the bottomless pit and die, but... Once again, Rolling Shield just saves the day. Oh no, my barrier! A lot of cannons through this hallway here. Got you! And Vile's back. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. But Zero! You can't win! Don't do it! That didn't sound good. Zero! He's been taken captive. Go ahead and blast him. Hell yeah. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armor carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Oh, really? <laughs> this is always funny. Doesn't it look like the Storm Tornado is, like, doing a shit ton of damage? But yeah, this is another battle that you can't win. Stay back! I have Fire Wave! Ah! And I'm sticking to the right side of the screen for a reason. You'll see soon enough. It, it's kind of just... It's pointless, but it's funny. Watch this. <laughs> For some reason, Vile finds it necessary to walk me to the other side of the room. Zero, no! I'm constantly switching weapons, but I can't save you! Aww. Oh. And Vile still stands. But how am I gonna beat him with no energy left? What the? What the fuck? Where did that energy come from? Your mom, Vile. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be dominated. Prepare to be shot in the face. Bile is weak to all kinds of weapons. Uh, there's a lot of weapons that'll do multiple damage to him. Um, probably the best to use is the homing torpedo because it'll track him. Like it'll track him off screen. Ah, he can also paralyze you with those little plasma balls. And I killed him off screen. That's wonderful. <laughs> He's blowing up and I can't even see it.
Zero. And zero just dissolves. Poor zero. I'll see you in X2 when you come back alive and well for no reason. What? Normally that kills him in one hit. There. Wanna see something cool? Weehoo! Dingy dingy! That was fun. Check this out. You can't see me. Na 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 boo boo. Through here is Boomer Kuanger, round two. Except this time I'm going to make things a little harder on myself and try to beat him with the buster. Hmm. He's actually being a little cooperative today. Normally, Boomer Kuanger will teleport constantly. And, yeah, see, he heard me. Because now he's going to do it. He gets to be very annoying because he can teleport directly behind you, and if he does that, he will throw you into the ceiling for a hefty amount of damage. And sometimes he teleports so fast, you don't have time to react. Oh, come on, you. Ah, you stupid. Got him. So much easier to use the torpedo, but I promised I would do it with the buster, so. Alright. I'm a little low on energy, so I'm going to uh, try to refill here. Ah, crud. Right here is the best place in the game to grind for sub tank and weapon energy. Just dash back and forth right here, and try to avoid the Mets, because if you hit the Mets while they're shielded, it'll uh, take your barrier down. But just jumping back and forth here can net you full life energy, full weapon energy, and full sub-tanks within a, a couple minutes. And you can just dash right through that Met there. <laughs> The boss here, I, I actually think his official name is Boss Spider, which is a little, sounds a little uninspired to me, but, you know, it's Capcom, whatever. This guy will slide down his little rails here, and it's a different pattern each time. Um, once he reaches a point to where there are no rails on one of these poles, you can stand by that pole and you, you have no danger of being hit. But normally he's a dick and he has like a huge arrangement of rails that he can follow you with. Oh, come on. I hit that spider. Yeah, whenever he um, stays immobile at the top of the screen, means he's going to uh, launch a volley of spiders. Easiest way is to stand on one side, try to lure him down on that side, and then immediately well, that was a bad example because I got hit, but normally you can lure him to one side, then dash away, and turn around and shoot him. Oh, no. Nah. I still got a hit on him. See, like right there. Once he reached the left side, there was no way for him to go back, so... Ow. That was just stupid on my part. All I had to do was sidestep, and I stood there. 
Oh, right here is an easy scenario. Just stand on the left side, he can't touch you. Right here, well, that was, that was just dumb luck. Oh, cool. One more charged shot ought to do it. You have been terminated. That's probably the hardest boss here, sadly. Alright, that's Sigma Stage 1. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. We'll do Sigma Stage 2. Alright, we're back. Stage 2. Kind of a nice little subtle thing that I like about uh, Mega Man X. The, each Sigma Stage has a different level team as opposed to like the classic games where you had Dr. Wily's Castle and like every stage had the same tune for the most part. Here, it's every stage is completely different. Different theme song, different design. Just, yeah, I thought they did a pretty good job with that. Ah, chill penguin. This time, I guess I'll do it with the fire wave since I didn't have that weapon the first time. Ah! Oh, I got a little gung ho there. I got right in his face, but paid for it. Yeah, fire wave is kind of hilarious. It'll set him on fire and. Ah! It's actually easier to fight him using the buster because you have to be so close to use the fire wave that it's easier to just shoot him from a distance with a charged shot and it usually does the same amount of damage. And also, when you use the fire wave, you have to wait for his uh, vulnerability period there to go away before you can hit him again. Alright, well, that's Chill Penguin. That's the last we'll see of him. Can't believe I took hits there. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. Oh, douchebag. Let's try that again. Boom! I'll take that. Eh. I'm just gonna run on through here. Yeah, this this part you could really take either path. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the uh, left side. It really doesn't matter. There's cannons on both sides. Um, all right, here we have Storm Eagle again. Who's weak against Chameleon Sting? This is like the only place in the game where this weapon has any purpose at all, besides that invincibility thing I did back in stage one of Sigma's Fortress. But it does make sense that uh, Storm Eagle is weak against Chameleon Sting because it has like the perfect attack range to hit him while he's in the air. You can fire it like that, and since it's multi-directional, it'll fire at him while he's up in the ow. While he's in the air. That was fast. Huh. 
that. And we're at the end of stage two already, believe it or not. This boss is... This is a pretty weird boss for a Mega Man game. Um, this boss's name is Rangda Bangda, or something like that. It's basically two eyes and then this floating thingy, which you can easily dodge um, just by jumping on the walls here. The red eye shoots a tri-directional blast. Um, the green eye will shoot individual shots. And then the blue eye will just uh, charge at you. And yes, those spikes are instant death. If that wasn't obvious. Each, um, each section has its own health, so you, once each section is destroyed, um, if you destroy the two eyes and you're left with this thing, it'll just constantly keep the walls closed in and it'll just keep going up and down until you kill it. He got a shot off. I didn't even see that. And see, this thing will just keep going over and over until I finish it off. Yep, make sure you're lined up in the middle of the screen there, Mega Man. Good job. Alright, that'll do it for today's episode. Um, I think next time might be the finale. It might take on the last two stages and the final boss.